Joel the Pirate here. Oh fuck, I fucked up already. Hey everybody, Joel the Pirate here. Um, back with the ridiculously big knife uh, for computer unboxing stuff. It uh, just showed up. Everything showed up except I've got one piece. It's not essential to the build. It's just more of a cosmetic thing that's not here yet. Thanks UPS. Um, but Federal Express was good. They dropped everything off. Well, I wouldn't say they're good. I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. They set it on the doorstep and walked away. Didn't even knock on the door. Not happy about that. But otherwise, everything should be here. Kind of started without you, as you can see. Uh, the only thing that I've done is open this up and, and realize that it's refund season. So, thank you, Uncle Sam. Appreciate this. Um, first off, we've got um, hard drive. Went with the Samsung. Um, 950 Pro, it's an M.2 drive, so super fast, blazing lightning speeds. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Ooh, the Core i7, 60, what did I get? 6700, yeah, 6700K uh, processor. I, I was going to go with Intel, but no, I, I just decided to, to go big or go home. Well, I did both. I, I went big and now I'm at home. And let's see. The EVGA Supernova, 1,000 watts. Um, it's a little overkill, but the main, I don't know, the main theme of this computer is going to be future-proof. So I didn't want to have to change out my power supply in another year if I decided to do something different. So I, I should be good forever. Now, finally, uh, let's see. Ooh. Motherboard. Uh, this is the uh, what? It, Asus Z170 Pro Gaming uh, motherboard. Um, set up for my Skylake processor. Um, it, it's going to be more motherboard than I've, I've ever had, uh, but I'm going to try and use every bit of it. Uh, it will support up to 64 gig of RAM. I'm only putting in 32, or only putting in 16 right now. I will probably upgrade to 32 when I need to. Maybe. I don't know. Probably. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's it for box number one. Now, I was going to originally do a build video, but, you know, there's other build videos on YouTube uh, that will probably do it better. I, I will show you, um, I will tack on a little bit of a clip uh, at the end of this uh, with the completed build. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to do a, an actual build video because, like I said, there's other people online that do it a lot better than I will. All right. Box number two. Ridiculously big knife. And it's dull. Oh, it scared the cat. Oh, and, and this is all from Newegg, by the way. I was originally going to shop around and get the best deals on stuff, um, but in the end, I only ended up—I would have only ended up saving about a hundred bucks. And yeah, hundred bucks, a hundred bucks. But just the just the fact that everything is here all at once from one place, and if I have a problem, I know exactly where to go. I don't have to search through a million different emails uh, to get everything. I, I think the hassle factor alone is worth a hundred bucks. So, and and I always bought from New Egg, so. I would highly recommend that. Uh, let's see. Let me get rid of this stuff here. Oh, well, we yeah, a pack list. Uh, first up, case fans. Uh, Corsair case fans, AF 120s, and they are red LEDs. I, I want it. And I like my shit to look nice, you know. Uh, let's see here. What do we got here? Ram. Ooh. It's not the same color red as it was in the picture, but we'll deal with it. Um, Rip Jaws, uh, G-Scale Rip Jaws, 16 gig DDR4. Uh, let's see, and that yeah, that is two eight uh, two eight gig sticks, so 16 gig. Now, let's see, ooh, that's interesting bubble wrap. Oh, hard drive, Western Digital, two terabyte black. Uh, this is for bulk storage. The um, the uh, 256 gig uh, M.2 uh, hard drive is going to be, you know, that's going to have up my operating system and games, 
uh, stuff like that uh, on it, but this is just going to be bulk storage for videos and, and footage and things like that. Um, another case fan. Ugh. Oh yeah, there we go. What, what are you here? You can go away. Uh, cooling motherboard uh, CPU. We're going with the uh, the Corsair H105. Uh, I was originally going to go with a um, I don't even remember the brand now, but it was a different cooler, um, but it had a different um, construction. I think it was, I don't know, some synthetic crap tubing inside of it. Uh, this one's aluminum and copper, so yeah. And, and it, the reviews on this one are a lot better. So yeah, 240 millimeter rad um, should keep my processor good and cool. The, uh, the i7 is not known for ridiculously hot temps anyway so it should this should be more than enough it should, you know, so. oh and here you're probably all wondering what I'm gonna do with what I'm gonna do for a graphics card uh, I've been fighting with that GTX 660 for a long time you, uh, you guys know it won't play arc anymore um, it, it's getting old it's tired <coughs> uh, it won't play arc anymore it won't play or it, it's it doesn't it hasn't been playing seven days that I really well lately it's starting to get some real steadily frame rates and even with Minecraft it's starting to get real steadily so I think it's about on its last leg uh, but now we are going with the GeForce 980 Ti this is the Strix edition so heavily overclocked uh, what 12 or I want to say uh, 1200 megahertz is the is the uh, the core clock on this but this should be. This was recommended by my buddy Dolan Meister. Um, he runs this card, and and his his shit looks good. You should go check out his videos. This should play anything we ever want to play with it. And that is it for that box. Now, let me stuff this all back in here. You're probably all wondering what I'm going to uh, what I'm going to stuff all this in. And I will show you here momentito. As soon as. I rearrange a little bit here. Hi, kitty. Here we go. All right. Whoop. For a case, uh, I I went back and forth. This was probably the one thing that I um, fought as far as you know deciding on. You know, but. I probably chose eight different cases, maybe maybe even a dozen, uh, before I finally settled on this one. <laughs> and this is purely an aesthetic choice. Uh, I had another uh, case that I had chosen uh, that supported a 280 millimeter rad, uh, but uh, I chose this one purely for aesthetics, so I had to go with the 240 millimeter rad instead, which, like I said, should be more than enough. Should not be a problem. Um, this one, well, yeah, I just chose this because I wanted it. And it should look good. Ooh, hey, nice styrofoam. That was my fault. All right, so what we are going to stuff all of this in is the Corsair C70. Uh, get on there. The Corsair C70 in military green. It's all steel. Uh, it's got cool little hatches like that, you know, looks like an ammo box. Um, here, let's get that off so y'all can see. Um, you got hard drive bays. These are all removable, except for this top one is not removable. Um, but these bottom two are removable, which is perfect because they're getting yanked out. Um, lots of passages for stuffing uh, cords through. There is one spot up here for stuffing a cord through. I'd like to see another one over here, but we'll just have to deal with that. Um, so it comes with three cases, but they're not LEDs. Can't be having that. Uh, those fans that I got, by the way, are twin packs. So I actually have four fans to put in there. Some of these fans may get used again. Um, don't know yet. We'll see how it goes. Um, and phone going off. Uh, let's see if I can show you this. Yeah, this... Uh, side case it's got room for two more two more fans um, but when you're looking at it 
you know, it kind of breaks up the, the nice clean window here, which I don't like. So I ordered from MNPC Tech uh, a, a solid window without these grills uh, in it. And this has got kind of a, I don't know, a bluish tint to it. Uh, I ordered a, a uh, lightly smoked, so it'll be a light gray uh, finish to it. But I, I don't foresee that I'm going to need this extra cooling on here. So, yeah, I'm getting it out of there. I want to be able to see everything without this in the way. Um, one cool thing about this case, and I don't know if they can show this on video or not. Let me get this a little closer. But the reset button there, it's got a little flip-up dually, dually wanger so you don't accidentally press your reset button. Um, USB 3.0 ports. Uh, Nice solid power button on there. Uh, three hard drive bays on the back. Got uh, eight PCI slots and the typical stuff. Little knockouts here if I wanted to water cool it, which I'm not going to. Um, around the other side, this has got a nice bump out here. So we've got extra space to stuff cables in there. And. It does have a few spots here and here. These are nice. Those, oh, those are real nice. That actually comes out, so that's going to save on zip ties and things. Lots of spots for tie downs. I, I'm loving that, and a, and a really nice, generous place there for my to, to access my CPU cooler. That's going to be really nice. Hard drive bay is a little, uh, little janky there. That's okay. It's coming out anyway. So. Yeah, um, I'm going to get this thing built, uh, and then we will uh, throw on a little bit of a clip uh, at the end. So, hang tight. Hey guys, and we're back. What's going on? You can hear the, uh, or you can see, old computer running right around, uh, I don't know, 45 decibels or so. Uh, here is a new one, uh, and let me... Powered up. I just got it uh, temporarily plugged into the wall there. Don't have any peripherals on it yet, but uh, you can see I got the uh, the new uh, piece from MNPC Tech, and I painted the the trim uh, red. Just use regular automotive paint. There she is, all uh, lit up. And get this guy going. Right now, I'm transferring files from one to the other. Uh, just using a USB stick for that. That's all I got. Let's see here. There we go, and you can see them. She does this cool breathing effect with the LEDs here, or with you know, on the graphics card here, and then on the motherboard. Uh, it does that when it's powered up, but it's running like a champ. Um, I will include some uh, benchmark um, benchmark clips here. Probably put them off to the side of the screen here uh, between old and new. Uh, but it's running like a boss now, and I couldn't remove the hard drive tray because there's then there's nowhere to mount the the other hard drive. Uh, there is a plate down here, but I didn't want to take the time to figure out how to do it. Uh, I could have made a bracket or something, I suppose, but I just used that hard drive cage. It's still staying plenty cool. Uh, this fan here uh, is blowing right onto the right onto the graphics card. So, and there's nothing in the way. And you can see, I got plenty of room. Even with the hard drive cage in there, I would have had plenty of room for this big old card. This thing is, uh, like, almost 13 inches long. Um, it's pretty badass. Uh, cable management, uh, I did pretty good up here. I was able to twist the uh, the pump wire for the, for the cooler and the fan wire. You know, that there really was no good way to route them otherwise. Uh, everything around the back, I used those uh, clips that were included. Uh, and everything else is, I mean, it's acceptable. Uh, the uh, the PCIe connector for the graphics card, there really was no good way to route it. I could have routed it back through there and then down again onto the power supply, but I just put a couple zip ties on that uh, just to just to you know hold it up. And with the uh, the side cover in case or in place, eventually. Hard to do one-handed. Come on, stupid thing. There it goes. And with the side cover in place, you can't even see it. So, 
And so yeah, old computer was running in what, 45 decibels there? Thirty-seven or so, and it's probably still picking up noise from old computer. So, yeah, all in all, uh, it turned out really well, and I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, and I love the the red, the LEDs, and everything. They really turned out nice. So, uh, yeah, again, I'm sorry for the uh, lack of videos because of this whole process, kids, but it was necessary. So, y'all have yourselves a good day. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.